Hello people and welcome aboard to follow the week 3 recap of the Carcassonne Champions League featuring 48 of the finest players in the world. Along the week 3 final matches being finished, the situation is looking very interesting to say at least. Players have been taking hits on the left and on the right, some players have cemented their position on the group standings better than the others, and for the not so fortunate ones, it's going to be tough two weeks ahead, although there might still be a blink of hope. We are gonna go through the results and we are gonna discuss what's possible and what's not. In Group A, its leaders Lawyer and Complex Fund went head on, resulting in a crucial 2 0 victory for Lawyer, putting him at 3 wins on the group standings. Norbert manages to get his second match win against Posich, and Crocodile Fundy also manages to get his second match win versus Bobondi. Unfortunately for both Posic and Bobondi, they now have zero match wins and three match losses. Group B witnesses Alexei's unstoppable force getting yet another clean 2-0 sweep, this time against KB. Fanatical Lime gets himself on the board with his first match win, and this is crucial because this gives a slimmer of hope for Fanatical to be in the top 3 if he manages to do well on his final two rounds. Scuti is following Alexei's footsteps by getting a third match win for himself as well, and although Scuti has not won his matches as clean sweeps, he is still looking quite comfortable. As for the Group C, on Sunday we had the opportunity to witness a rather eventful match between Schutt and Bluste. It came down to a decider and unfortunately for Bluste, he failed to block a 4-point road, which ended up being a big enough feature for Schutt to win on his final turn. This win was extremely important for Schutt, as he is now sitting on the second rank in group standings, and thus has a wee bit less pressure regarding the final two rounds. Loishi manages to get a sweep over Lakos 2-0, putting him at two wins, and myself continuing a win streak of my own, this time against Erwin G, with a 2-0 victory. Group D sees another nail-biter of a game between Matej and Saharik. Matej coming on top with a 2-1 score and putting him on the board with his first match win. Paulans and 2 managed to beat the group leader Giulio 2-0 and secures a top 3 spot for now. 71st also takes his second win of the group stage against Big Nacho with a score of 2-1. In Group E, both Viv and Siegfried are continuing their unstoppable win streaks. Both of them are now at three match wins. BS12 joins the one match win club with Lichita Killer and Hogne. Vasimir still without wins. In Group F, we have someone you know dominating the standings with three wins, this week adding one under his belt against Gottfried Juan Bouillon. We have an important first match win for Sonny, taking a 2-1 victory over Osnfag, ending his win streak. Osnofag, much like Bluste, making a decisive mistake on the decisive game of the match on his final turn, costing him both the game and the match. 
Tromposki also manages to get his first match win. A 2-1 score versus the current world champion Statmat. In Group G we have a very strong fighting spirit with both Claudio Hokuera and Hydro Baby taking their first match wins versus Metalcat and Charling respectively. Muchachello and Karkinolis fought for the top one spot of the group stage. Muchachello coming on top with a 2-1 victory. In Group H the stakes were through the roof. Every match win guarantees at least a temporary top three spot in the group standings. With that said, we had three clean sweeps. Self-evident taking out EQ, Kiluminati Warrior taking out Faubar, and Enstronkio taking out Lambe. In the group standings of Group A, Lawyer is sitting pretty at the top with three match wins, six game wins and no losses at all. Then for the second and third spot we have a tough fight going on. All of Complex One, Crocodile Fundy and Norberts with two match wins. What's interesting here is that even though Posic has zero match wins. I think he can still be in top three at the end of the group stage. What needs to happen is Posic needs to win against Popondi 2-0. Posic needs to win against Crocodile Fundy 2-0. Crocodile Fundy needs to lose to Lawyer 2-0. Norbert needs to lose against Lawyer 2-0. And Norbert needs to lose against Komplexwand 2-0. I think this is the only possible scenario where Posic finds himself in the top 3 at the end of the group stage and moves to playoffs round 1. So this is pretty much a situation where stars need to align for Posic so that he can get to the next stage. He needs a lot of help, but the chance is still lingering. In Group B we have Alexei and Scotty both with three match wins. Alexei at first place since he hasn't lost any games at all. KB barely hanging on to that third spot over Fanatical Lime and Amy Thienta. Unfortunately for NW I think it's over. Because KB still has an unplayed match both against Fanatical Lime and Amy Thienta. Now, although it is possible for NW to win against Amethianta and be up on him with a tiebreaker, he has lost to KB and Fanatical Line. So no matter the winner between the match of KB and Fanatical Line, NW is going to lose at least by tiebreaker. As for the winner of Group B, it is going to be either Alexei or Scuti, as they have not faced each other yet, and no one else can reach for match wins anymore. They are going to be facing each other on week 5, and I assure you, it will be worth watching. Depending on the results of the week 4, Alexei might be able to secure the top spot of the group already this week. If he manages to win his next match 2-0 and Scuti suffers at least one game loss. 
As for KB, Fanatical Lime and Amethienta, they all have two matches remaining and they all have a chance to secure at least the third spot for themselves. For Group C, I am in the lead with three wins, six game wins and one game loss. Should and Loishi vacating the second and third ranks with two match wins, Bluste and Erwin G have to step up the gas. Although I am now at 3061, my first rank is not secured, I still have a match against Shoot on week 5, and much like in Group B, depending on the results of this week, anything's possible. As for Lakos, even with tremendous success over his final two opponents, being myself and Erwin G, even 2-0 victories over both of us would not be enough, as he has lost to Loishi before, and Loishi is vacating the third spot at the moment with four game wins, which would be the maximum amount that Lakos can get. Group D looks like a viewer's dream, where every player still have a chance to qualify to the next stage. Currently 71st in the lead, with 2 wins and 5 game wins, mm, Tu and Giulio with 2 match wins and 4 game wins, Saharik, Big Nacho and Mateš all with 1 match win. Group E we have the battle of Viv and Siegfried, both with three match wins, and they also have not faced each other yet. They are going to go head on on week five, which is likely the week where the top one spot is determined. It is possible for Siegfried to lose this week 0 2 and Viv to win 2 0 which would already guarantee Viv winning the group as a whole. Lihita Killer, BS12, Hogne and Vasimir going to be battling it out to secure at least the third spot. The second spot is possible to be up for grabs also if Siegfried loses both of his final two matches 2-0. Group F witnesses the lead of someone you know, with three match wins, six game wins and two game losses. Osnofak coming as second with two match wins, one match loss, five game wins and three game losses. Everyone else with one match win. Someone you know and Osnofak still have an unplayed match between each other coming up this week, which basically means that the whole group standing can still change. Group G we have Mutacello in the lead with three match wins, Cardinalis with two and Claudio Hoguera vacating the third rank. Although Mutacello's position looking nice and pretty at the moment, with everyone being at at least one win, it is totally possible for Mutacello to drop down below top three. Which means that everything in Group G is possible still. Finally, the Group H, where self-evident Kiluminati Warrior and Estronchio, all with two match wins. And I would dare to call this group a complete hurricane, because having the top rank at two match wins, it means that nothing is safe. No one is safe. Which again means that here is another group which all the viewers of this league should absolutely love. Everything is possible in this group.
So even though your favorite player in the group H might not be at the top of the board at the moment, be sure to support them. Because everything is possible and they can give a massive surprise. That concludes the week 3 recap of the Carcassonne Champions League. I sincerely hope you find this league to be at least as entertaining as I find it to be. Bye for now.